um, I'm looking at building model, right? The next competition, just starting from scratch here, right? I've, I've hidden the roof element, right, which is on its own uh, layer, right? So if I were to put the roof of the building back on, there it was. So now what I've done is I've drawn a ceiling object. I, I did that by uh, sketching a rectangle and then removing the inside face. Then I took the grid tool and basically laid an array of grid lines onto this ceiling. So it's basically an empty space with grid lines. I'm going to use the grid lines to space light sources at regular intervals. So here's here's a result, right? And let let's talk about how we arrived at it. Um, sorry, I had to interrupt this a couple times because of network um, issues. So there's an array of lights, and that's that's what the lighting looks like in. Enscape right now. I didn't turn the roof element on, but let's go back over and explain what we have going on here. So I'm going to click over to this uh, ceiling view. What is the ceiling? So basically, I created a grid. I explained how I created that grid. Then I placed in that ceiling from the Enscape assets, the shape of a lamp. And I'll explain how um, how that was done. I selected this ceiling lamp here, placed it at the intersection in this group, Then what I did was I took this component, right, which is now the instant, double click the component to, in order to modify it, and I placed a sphere light in it. Then what I did with that sphere light is moved it downward six inches. And then I just copied it all over the ceiling. Okay? So we have one extra light in there now, the one I just made. But it's identical to these others. Let's go to the perspective view. We need to close that group. And let us now ask Enscape to render this window. Uh, sorry, extension Enscape, start Enscape. If the lights are too bright or too dim, you can adjust the, the light. The idea is that you've modified the component, right? So these are. a bit dim. Let's go back to the ceiling. And select that light. So you see that the in in, when I select the light source, it selects it in all those because they're all components. But I'm going to set 
value. So let's make it 3,000 candelas. Close the component. Go back to the perspective view. Close the group. Ceiling is a group. And let's ask Enscape to now start to render. Uh, should be open in a separate window. There it is. We can adjust I don't know if that's updated. Let's try that again. I thought it would be brighter than that. Because we can uh, update these in real time, let's make a separate screen here. And there's our light array. Let's go to the ceiling work. Select a light source, 3,000 light source radius. Maybe make that bigger. Let's change this to 5,000. And go back to the perspective. Okay, that's a bit better. Close that component. So now we're getting a level of light that we can live with. The model is in my handouts folder if you want. Copy the ceiling into your model, but that's the way you go. But you gotta get light source and the the luminaire itself. And if you want to add ceiling uh that has some volume in it, you can do that as well. Then you have to make, um, accommodate um, the luminaires. Either make holes in the ceiling or you mount them on the surface. But generally, uh, that gives you this result. I'm going to post this and send a link to the class. I hope this was clear.